Hello again. I'm always a little dubious these days when told that this or that group of people are British. When the war began in Gaza, for instance, fears were expressed for British people trapped there by the fighting. It later emerged, of course, that they were not British at all, but rather Palestinian Muslims who had at some stage of their lives managed to blag a British passport by sitting a so-called citizenship test. I was reminded of this when I saw a piece in the newspaper yesterday claiming that thousands of slaves had been found in this country last year and the communist nationality of these people was British. Out of the 17,000 or so victims of modern slavery identified in Britain last year, around a quarter, over 4,000, were supposedly British. Reading the article in full told us what was really going on. Claiming to be a victim of modern slavery is seen by some groups of foreigners or those of foreign extraction as a get-out-of-jail-free card and also a way for illegal immigrants to remain in the country rather than being deported. Those UK citizens who are referred to are people whose families have come here from abroad and somehow acquired citizenship, which can of course be passed down to their offspring. When somebody who has been given a passport in this way is caught doing the kind of thing which will probably result in a prison sentence, say running a huge cannabis farm with the lighting and heating obtained free by tapping into the electricity supply illegally, or perhaps operating several brothels, gun running, being a drugs mule and so on, the claim is at once made that they are doing this under duress because they are victims of modern slavery. The claim is almost invariably groundless, but it is definitely worth a try. It is said that they were originally trafficked into Britain and that drug lords or pimps or warlords forced them to take part in illegal activities here by threatening that their family back home would be killed if they don't cooperate. This story is used even if the person arrested has been in Britain for years and now has a British passport. None of those British citizens that are taught about listed in the government figures are really British in the sense that they are of British ethnicity from families who have lived in this country for a while. The next most common nationality for these victims of modern slavery are of course Albanians, which by the way is also where the families of many of those um, British people are from originally. Albanian illegal immigrants know that there's no point claiming asylum if they're caught in this country because Albania is officially a safe country, so instead they claim to have been trafficked here by people smugglers and forced against their will to become criminals involved with prostitution, drugs or guns. I need hardly say that every police officer knows these dodges, and so do most people working for the border force and the home office, but summarily deporting somebody claiming to be a vulnerable victim of modern slavery looks terrible if it gets into the papers, and so they're treated as though their stories are true and worthy of proper investigation. As usual, I give a link to a news item about this in the description to this video.